What's up guys, it's me Mario, Homeslice794, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to get your best stream for your internet connection. I'm going to show you how to get the correct uh, upload speed, how to uh, apply that to your Twitch uh, open broadcaster settings. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is we want to find out what our own, our own internet upload speed is. The correct way to do that is go to your favorite internet browser and don't go to other internet sites speed tests go to this website I'm gonna leave the link in the description the link is test my dot net slash upload okay now the reason why I like this is because you can set how large you want your upload to be and the longer the longer it tests the better because it's gonna give you more of an accurate result other websites use like these real tiny little uh, test windows, so it's not as accurate because all the spikes. You want to you want a sturdy average. So what I want you to do is go here and click 33 megabytes. It's going to be a little longer test, but you know that it's going to be right. I've already done that for you guys, and here's the results right here. And I got 5 Mbps. All right. And so in the open broadcaster, it goes by KBPS. So what we want to do is we want to open up another window and say 5 MBPS to KBPS. And what that's going to do is that's going to give you the result. Five, that mine is 5120 KBS. Everyone's is going to be different, but I'm just telling you what I got and how I applied it to my open broadcaster settings. So now that we know our KBS, KBPS, we want to open up OBS, Open Broadcaster, and uh, go to your settings. Click it, and I'm only going to be sh showing you the encoding settings and the advanced settings. So, all right, all that other stuff you can figure out. Click on encoding. Make sure that encoder X264 is checked. Use CBR. Use these have these checked and now here's the most important part right here your max bitrate now if you go in here and you put your max 5120 KBS you're giving yourself no room so if you like have if you share your internet with somebody it's just gonna be your streams gonna be laggy if you get a spike in your internet it's just it's gonna lag it's gonna stutter it's not gonna be an enjoyable stream so generally my rule of thumb is little bit more than half of what your maximum is so I go ahead and I always use 3500 so that's that's more than half of 5120 kbps now the buffer size I always add 300 kbs on top of my max bitrate um, I've tested I've gone lower I've gone higher I've been the same and I look at my stream and this one seems to turn the stream turns on quicker and it doesn't lag it just it runs better so that's just my been testing it's been 300 kbs above of your max bit rate the audio encoding guys i don't care what anybody says don't touch them you don't have to you can't tell a difference and if you raise this bit rate you're not gonna be able to tell i mean in, in theory it they're gonna want it's gonna supposed to sound better it just doesn't it doesn't come through on the streams so just leave it at that or else you're just going to be using more more upload speeds. It that pisses me off when people say, "Oh yeah, go to 320, sound better." It's not. It's your streaming, dude. It's unless you're doing like a super high quality download A A C A uh, A flack or flack audio, but just leave audio encoding the same. They don't know what they're talking about. Okay, now let's go to advanced general. Use multi-threaded options. Make sure that's checked. That should be checked already, but just make sure it's important. Now under video, this is the, I changed some settings here, and it's gonna ask you if you want to, because it's uh, it, see setting this value higher reduces CP usage. Okay, so the higher if you're on ultra fast, your CPU is not gonna be doing a lot of work. If you go to slower, your CPU is gonna be doing a lot of work but your stream is going to be less pixelated so it's like a you have to figure out what you have to find that sweet spot so everybody's different if you go to ultra fast in my tests 
there's so many pixels like especially with fast movement games default is very fast and it still leaves pixels so I have an 8 core processor so I found that my sweet spot is fast you know my PC is working if you have a decent PC uh, mess around with the settings but if you have a somewhat of a decent PC I have an AMD 8120 processor which is an 8 core processor and fast my PC is not working really that hard but the stream looks great there's no pixels it looks just great I wouldn't recommend going any lower than medium because your CPU is going to be it's going to be working really hard so fast is where I, I recommend it's going to give you this this uh, it's going to ask you if you're sure sometimes but just if you have a good PC a solid decent CPU to be streaming you need one anyways uh, fast is a good sweet spot all these leave them the same don't mess with them and that's all I'm going to do right now guys I just wanted to show everybody how to get the proper encoding settings because I've seen a lot of videos and they they're very general everyone's is different so uh, if you guys follow this technique you'll get the right you get the right stream the right quality and uh, your stream is not going to be lagging it's going to be looking good so that's all I want to say guys I want to thank y'all for watching thank y'all for listening uh, thank y'all for putting up with me uh, y'all stay tuned I'm going to have some more videos coming later uh, and I'll be streaming too so y'all check that out thanks for watching